Hello, Prince George's County residents. I bring you greetings from Bowie State University, Maryland's first HBCU. I am Jabari Walker, the Sustainability and Energy Coordinator here at BSU, and I want to welcome you to our collaboration presentation featuring the Prince George's County Department of the Environment and giving us a preview of the county's climate action plan. You will also see greetings from esteemed officials, perspectives from college students from our four-year institutions, and an idea on what Bowie State and the University of Maryland are doing to tackle the climate crisis. This is only about a 30 minute presentation. I hope you enjoy. I will now turn it over to County Councilman Calvin Hawkins. And remember, this is your future. There's a place in my heart that never goes cold. There's a place in my memory that never grows old. There's a prayer on my lip that I'll ever be true to God and my country, to Bowie State, my school. Oh, Bowie State, dear Bowie State, may you forever be the flame of faith, the torch of truth, to guide the steps of our youth. Good morning, Bowie State, Bulldog Nation, BSU. My name is Calvin Hawkins, and I serve as chair of the Prince George's County Council. I am also a proud alum of Bowie State University. I'm so excited that all of you, leaders of today, are committed to the charge of addressing climate change. You possess the ability to change the trajectory of tomorrow. As a long-term community emergency response team member and a member of the emergency management profession, I applaud your leadership and I know you will leave this, this, this university, our county, and our world better than you found it. You will have a voice in the Climate Change Commission's work to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as well as push for innovative, renewable, and clean energy options. Your vision and determination to improve the quality of life here at Bowie State University in our county and world are matters that will only help our communities become better because you were the ones to make the commitment to create a more resilient and vibrant county, community, university, and world. I applaud each of you for your participation in today's conference. Go Bowie State, Bulldog Nation, BSU, you know. Good afternoon. My name is Michelle W. Russell, Acting Director, Prince George's County Government, Department of the Environment. It is an honor to join my alma mater in a call to action to address climate change. Proud alumni of Bowie State? Yes, I am. I graduated from Bowie State College in 1983. The late Dorothy Height was the keynote speaking at, speaker at my commencement ceremony. Back in the day, classes were small. We had great open communication with our professors and our college campus community was family, especially amongst the Greek brothers and sisters. My experiences at Bowie helped shape me both professionally and personally. Fast forward, when I go or come to Bowie State, I cannot believe it. And that is just not a bad thing at all. I see this beautiful building, Center for Natural Sciences, LEED Platinum Building on campus, leading by example, Yes, you are Bowie. Yes, you are leading by example. Human contributions. Some of my most rewarding experiences have been here at the Department of the Environment. I've seen how human behavior and choices that we make can degrade environmental health and alter natural cycles. We are facing a global climate crisis. Science shows us that the earth is warming due to human activity, such as burning fossil fuel, like coal and oil, that increases the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air. Local impacts. 
If we continue on this road of what I call destruction, we should expect to see major changes in our climate. These changes will be felt locally, severe storms, extreme heat, damaging floods are just a few of the likely effects of climate change in Prince George's County. As students, I challenge you to answer the call for climate action. Your future is at stake. We invite you to be part of the county's climate action planning process. Join the Prince George's County Climate Action Commission for the next community engagement meeting on Thursday, June the 24th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. For more information about the county's Climate Action Commission, please visit the County Council website. For more information about what our county and our regional partners are doing to stop climate change, visit climatepartner.org. That's climatepartner.org. Our Climate Action Plan Virtual Open House can also be found there. And that site is hosted by the Washington Metropolitan Council of Governments. It's your future. Be part of the plan. And I say, go Bulldogs. Greetings, my name is Bianca and I'm a senior majoring in public health at the University of Maryland. And what does climate change mean to me? Take it from someone who's been learning about this since elementary school. It means that this is just that serious. And in this relationship here that we have with the earth, we are not upholding our end. And the results are not only going to be catastrophic for society, but for the ecosystems that we have in place. The earth is our home, the place that sustains us. But are we living in harmony with it? And as young people and individuals, we have the ability to get involved and make such a big difference, whether through small actions or larger initiatives. Let's not forget that consumers dictate markets and they can significantly impact the way goods are produced and traded if they decided to change their consumption habits. So I'm challenging all young people to get involved with this movement by starting your own initiative or volunteering with an environmental organization, saving resources, advocating, buying sustainable products and coming to community meetings so we can hear your voice. I'm taking advantage of being environmentally responsible by not only showing up to these community meetings and getting involved myself, but continuously educating myself and being conscious of my carbon footprint and holding those beside me accountable. I would love to see more young people get involved in this movement because it's so important because it's going to affect generations to come. Thank you for your time. My name is Blessing. I am currently a senior biology major attending Blue State University. The change to me basically is how we treat our environment. And what we put in our environment is exactly what we're going to get out of it. And it's based on pollution and stuff that we don't necessarily need in order to survive on this planet. And which is why the, the earth is going to respond in a way that might not be su sufficient for human beings. Currently volunteering with the Alliance of the Chesapeake Bay which is basically water monitoring, which includes checking the levels of the water to make sure that they are normal, and that can show you whether the water is polluted or it's not. This ensures that the government will be able to control and monitor the levels of water as well and enforce policies if the water levels are outside of the normal values. At Bowie State, I constantly see students picking up trash and not littering, which I think is great, but I also feel like they could participate in projects that I'm participating in, like the Alliance of the Chesapeake Bay, because I feel like it will help the community as a whole, as well as the government, which makes a bigger impact in the more the merrier. I believe that younger people can contribute to the movement by doing things as little as recycling, picking up trash, not littering, and also just simply advocating for a healthier planet via those. Greetings homes. from Bowie State University, and welcome to Earth Week. I'm Amita Bro the president of Bowie State University, and I want to thank the Prince George's County Department of the Environment for the opportunity to host the unveiling of the county's climate action plan. I applaud the leadership of the county for ensuring that our community leads the way among communities across our nation toward a more sustainable planet. Thank you to our county executive, Angela Alsobrooks, to County Council Chair, Calvin S. Hawkins, the Department of the Environment Acting Director, Michelle Russell, and to all of the staff and residents of Prince George's County for doing what you can to bring about a more economically, socially, and environmentally sustainable community. We at Bowie State University are committed to educating our students about the effects of climate change 
and helping all members of our campus to understand how each one of us has the power and the ability to bring about the change we want to see for our global community. At Bowie State University, we are also committed to doing our part by reducing our carbon footprint, reducing waste, increasing the use of renewable energy, and promoting sustainability as a core part of the Bowie Bowl philosophy. Our comprehensive climate action plan demonstrates our commitment to creating an infrastructure grounded in eco-friendly practices and to ensuring the long-term viability of both our campus community and our world at large. We fully support the work of the Prince George's Climate Action Commission and we look forward to seeing the plan reach its final stages later this year. I hope you enjoy the following video which highlights the BSU commitment to eco-friendly practices and infrastructure. Thanks to the production staff at BSU for helping to put together this vi video. On behalf of Bowie State University, our HBCU in Prince George's County, the first HBCU in Maryland, congratulations to the Climate Action Commission for your work on this important plan to be unveiled today and to the celebration of Earth Week 2021. Bowie State University's administration, faculty, staff, and students invite campus community members and regional citizens to join in the effort of cultivating sustainability and promoting environmental awareness and stewardship. The university is actively committed to lowering our carbon footprint and reducing the effects of climate change on our campus, our nation, and across the globe. We also have a partnership with the Environmental Protection Agency, which shares career opportunities and educates students on their mission. The institution continues to update campus master plans and make material investments in infrastructure. Our newest buildings meet the highest green standard of sustainability. Our newest buildings, including our LEAD Gold Student Center, projected LEAD Silver or Gold Entrepreneurship, living and learning community, and our largest academic building on campus, the Center for Natural Sciences, Mathematics and Nursing, which is LEED's platinum highest possible designation by the U.S. government. There's also smaller projects around the campus utilizing solar energy such as network of big belly solar compactors, solar charging tables, and the nation's first known solar charging bus station for mobile devices. Sustainable transportation to and around campus includes rideshare to shuttle options for students, the area's only marked commuter train stop on a college campus, and expanding fleet of electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging stations, and a new bike share program for the entire campus community. Keeping our regional environment clean and green starts at home on our 340 acres campus. Our students uh, are coming into the campus wanting to know, you know, what are we doing to reduce our carbon footprint also to look at sustainable renewable energy. So this is historic for us and it's in keeping with our learners today. Very, very exciting. In the fall of 2020, our campus community, BSU student volunteers, planted a campus fruit tree orchard of 25 apple and pear trees donated by the Fruit Tree Planning Foundation in collaboration with Vita Fusion as a part of our bold goal to plant 200,000 fruit trees worldwide. The janitorial staff cleans our buildings utilizing a mixture of non-toxic green cleaning products, one of which was created by our own alum, founder of the Green Laundress. In addition to cleanups, in nearby parks with waterway leading into the Chesapeake Bay, there's semi-annual campus cleanups. For example, annual campus events include World Food Day, Paper Shred Day events, and various events around Earth Day. Our university has hosted educational events and seminars and environmental and justice presentations from local and national agencies. Bowie State University intends to stay at the forefront of sustainability, innovation, and commitment through the 21st century. For more information, visit our website at bowiestate.edu.
sustainability. Boise State University, the power is in the green. Hi, thank you for having me as part of the Climate Action Plan preview for Prince George's County. My name is Thunby Gedia and I work in the Office of Sustainability at the University of Maryland. Happy Earth Day. We wanted to share some background about our campus efforts to address climate change. The University of Maryland became a charter signatory of the American College and University President's Climate Commitment, now called the Carbon Commitment, in 2007, and finished its first Climate Action Plan, or CAP, in 2009. The second Climate Action Plan, which we call CAP 2.0, was published online in 2015 and established as a living document to encourage the community participation in climate action planning. Many faculty, staff, and students have tirelessly contributed to and continue to implement CAP strategies that help keep the university on track to meet its climate action targets. The university achieved its target to reduce carbon emissions by 50% in 2018, two years ahead of schedule. To date, we've cut our emissions by 56%. We have been producing, procuring 100% of our purchased electricity from renewable energy sources since 2020. Since 2017, we have been offsetting 100% of the university's air travel emissions associated with faculty, staff, and student air travel. Implementing several energy performance contracts, we've reduced energy consumption 20% or more in our campus buildings. Increasing the percentage of commuters who choose alternative transportation for daily commuting, we've been able to reduce emissions. Students also voted to offset their student commuting emissions through their sustainability fee. We have educated more than tens of thousands of UMD students about sustainability challenges and opportunities. In 2014, we committed to carbon neutral new construction. We offset new greenhouse gas emissions from our new construction by designing new buildings to strict energy efficiency standards and using energy from renewable sources. The University of Maryland is estimated to save $120 million while preventing 4.3 million metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent from entering the atmosphere between 2016 and 2020 by implementing these climate action strategies. Using the social cost of carbon, the additional economic benefit to the world is approximately 216 million from this level of carbon reduction. The university's impact will become even greater as it develops and implements additional strategies in the future to reach its goal of carbon neutrality. Visit our website, sustainability.umd.edu and follow us on social media at sustainableumd to learn more, to commit to sustainable choices, and to collaborate to address climate change. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dawn Hawkins Nixon, Associate Director for the Prince George's County Department of the Environment Sustainability Division. Take a look now at the Call for Action presentation on how climate change is affecting Prince George's County, some of the things that we're doing to slow down global warming, and a brief explanation of our climate action plan process. Climate change is the most urgent environmental crisis of our time. It is affecting communities across the globe. Without implementation of measures to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, the Earth's surface will continue to warm, giving rise to extreme storm events and extreme heat. Climate change is driven by an abundance of excess greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. CO2 and other greenhouse gases trap and store heat, leading to atmospheric warming. Deforestation, land use change, and fossil fuel burning contribute to a steady rise in CO2. Carbon emissions can be primarily attributed to the growth in carbon emissions from human activities like fossil fuel burning, deforestation, and other land use changes. 
Global warming has the potential to change life as we know it. Higher temperatures are likely to trigger droughts, extreme storms, and precipitation as well as frequent flooding. Days will be hotter for longer periods of time. More buildings, infrastructure, and people will be exposed to floodwaters. Lightning and thunderstorms will increase with heat. Storms will become more intense. While many climate action plans focus on reducing greenhouse gases, there's a growing recognition that climate change impacts are already unfolding and more frequent heat waves and extreme precipitation events will most likely become our new reality. Prince George's County Climate Action Commission is tasked with developing a plan that identifies actions to reduce emissions and prioritizes community-wide climate adaptation and resiliency strategies to prepare, to prepare for what a changing climate will do to our communities. It will only get worse without effective measures to reduce or offset greenhouse gas emissions. Prince George's County government leads by example, inspiring our larger community to reduce emissions by choosing clean energy and transportation options, diverting waste from our landfill, and also greening our communities with carbon capturing trees. The Climate Action Plan is a work in progress. With the help of county residents, the Climate Action Commission will shape the plan to address your concerns and needs. Please be a part of the plan for your future. Many of the impacts of greenhouse gases emitted today will not fully manifest until decades later. Upon emergence, these impacts will be with future generations for hundreds of years later. The chances of encountering dangerous climate impacts grows with every extra ton of carbon that we emit. Time is of the essence Choose now to engage in the climate action, action planning process. Share your thoughts and ideas regarding emission reductions and climate adaptation. Join our next community engagement meeting, which will be virtual on Thursday, June 24th, 2021 from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. For more information about the County's Climate Action Commission, please visit our County Council website. Greetings, I am Jay LaPreed, a senior sports management major with a concentration in public relations at the gorgeous Bowie State University. One thing that we must do is educate our campus community, the people in Prince George's County and the nation about ways that they can be more environmentally responsible. Yes, recycling is a big and important part, but there are so many more ways to get involved. For example, you can help by planting trees, joining composting programs, talking to your neighbors and your homeowners and your community about solar panels, 
You can walk and ride your bike instead of driving. You can conserve the water and the energy at home, at school, or at work. And you can invest in reusable bags. Those are just a few things, but there are so many more. I can't wait to see what you guys can do, and I can't wait to see what's next for us. This is a call to action. This is my future. This is your future. And this is our future. And I am super excited to see what's going to happen to our future. Thank you. To Prince George's County residents of all ages, but especially my generation, it's important to know what's in your county's climate action plan. So please be sure to check it out as soon as it's released and get involved now. This is a call to action because this is your future.